<laughs> Oop! I think someone's hungry. Me! Let's see. <gasps> no food! No food? Oh dear! Well, I guess we'll have to go on an adventure to the supermarket. Okay, Pepper and George, I've got a fun supermarket challenge for you both to do. I love a challenge! Here's a shopping list. If you can find everything on this list, you'll win a special prize. How exciting! Come on, George, let's go. I can give you a ride in the trolley. <coughs> Be careful! <laughs> First on the list, carrots. Can you see carrots anywhere, George? There they are! Well done, George! Now to put them in the trolley. <laughs> I think you might need to get out and walk, George. <laughs> OK, what's next? Bread and cheese. Hmm. If I was a piece of cheese, where would I be? There, I found it. But wait, there's no bread and cheese here. Wow, secret bread and cheese. This really is an adventure. Next on the list, cornflakes. There they are. George, could you get a box of cornflakes, please? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Silly George. We better put all these boxes back straight away. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Perfect! Next we need... Ice cream! Yummy, yummy, yummy! This way, George! Perfect! Almost done, George! Just a few more things to get! Everything, George. Let's go and find Mummy and Daddy. Is it me, or did it suddenly get chilly in here? We're back, we're back. We found everything, Mummy, even the ice cream. <sighs> did you remember to close the freezer door? Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> Whoops. Well done. But the challenge isn't over yet. First, we've got to buy everything. <laughs> yes. Hooray! And then we've got to get them all home. <laughs> And finally, we need to put them all away. <laughs> Yay! Oh, well done. You completed the challenge. And now for your special prize. With all these yummy ingredients I can make, Chocolate chip cookies! Who wants freshly baked cho- hmm. 
<laughs> Maybe later then. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what are you doing, Daddy? Well, I'm pretending to be a penguin, of course. A penguin? Why? Because we're all going off on an adventure to the aquarium. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Four tickets, please. Oh, sorry. Five tickets. All right, in we go. Look, Daddy, it's the penguin. <gasps> Let's see how it's really done. Cuddling together like that, Mummy. They do it to stay warm, Peppa. Oh, like this? Ho oh, ho, exactly. Hang on a moment. Where's George? Can I have a go? Can I have a go? It does look like fun. <laughs> All right, lots to see. Come on, Pepper. Come on, George. Look at all the fishies in the tank. I can swim just like them. What is it, George? What's wrong? Oh, no. You've lost your dinosaur toy. Well, don't worry, George. We'll find it. It can't have gone far. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. It's only me. <laughs> I thought you were a shark, Mummy. Well, your dinosaur isn't over here, George. Maybe you dropped it in the fish tank. Dinosaurs have eight tentacles. Do dinosaurs look like horses? Are dinosaurs star shaped? Hmm, then I don't think it's here. Look, the penguins are acting awfully strangely. It looks like they found something unusual. Unusual? <gasps> I know! It's George's dinosaur toy! We found it! Hooray! Thanks, Penguin. Although I think your waddling needs a little work. <laughs> <laughs> Off on an adventure to the petting farm. Come on, everyone. <laughs> chickens! And what noise do chickens make, Pepper? <laughs> no, George, that's a cow. <laughs> Mickey! Mickey! It's Mrs. Chicken. She doesn't look very well. I think you're right, Peppa. We should take her to the vets right away. Follow me, Mrs. Chicken. <laughs> OK, let's see what's wrong with you. Do you have a temperature? Let's see. Ooh, you're quite warm. And now you're covered in red spots. Uh-oh. I wonder if we have anything to cure red spots. Ah, now 
you're covered in green spots too. I think you might be turning into an alien. Hmm, this is very strange. I've never seen a chicken with spots. Great idea, George. There's sure to be something in the first aid bag. Aha! Is this the right medicine, Mummy? Perfect. And well done for checking with me first, Peppa. Here you are, Mrs. Chicken. Hooray! She's well again! Well done, Peppa. You're a natural vet. Why don't we see if any of the other animals need some help? Hello, Mr. Turtle. What seems to be the problem? You've got a rumbly tummy. Let's have a look to see what's wrong. Turn on the X-ray. You've got a ladybug in your tummy. Whoops, silly me, false alarm. <laughs> I think you're just hungry, Mr. Turtle. And you look hungry too, Goldie. Bon appetit! Well, Peppa, what a marvellous job you've done. You've sorted Mr. Turtle's tummy ache, you've fed Goldie, and you cured Mrs. Chicken of her spots. Uh oh! Is Mrs. Chicken sick again? <laughs> Silly George! <laughs> Achoo! That's funny! Susie was making that exact same noise at Playgroup! Achoo! Seems like you've got a case of the... Achoo! Sneezes! Oh dear! It seems like we've all got a case of the sn We better go home right away. Now, we'll all need to stay at home until the sneezers stop. That's right. We don't want to give them to anyone else. Does that mean I can't go to playgroup? I'm afraid so, Pepper. Not until you stop sneezing. I've stopped. <gasps> <gasps> Now, it's important to keep good hygiene. That means lots of hand washing with lots of soap. Achoo. Okay, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy said to add lots of soap. Perfect. How's the hand washing going in here? Oh, good grief. I think that's a bit too much soap, Peppa. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> I like your beard. Ho, ho, ho. We need to eat and drink lots of yummy, healthy foods when we're sick. Who wants one of Mummy's special hot ginger honey and lemon teas? Me, me, me. Me, me, me. OK. Well, I'll need your help to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks for three sick piggies. <laughs> Don't forget me. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Mummy, can I play with Rebecca Rabbit now? Achoo! Hmm. Not in person, I'm afraid, Pepper. You've still got the sneezes. Although. Pepper! Rebecca! Achoo! I thought we could play some games together. Yay! How about hide and seek? OK, you count to ten and we'll hide. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not? 
There you are, Peppa. <laughs> there you are, George. <laughs> okay, Peppa. Time to get a good night's sleep. It's important to get lots of rest when you've got the sneezes. Uh, uh, achoo! <laughs> okay, Daddy. Bye, Rebecca. Bye, Peppa. <sighs> night, night, Daddy. <laughs> night, night, Peppa. Achoo! <laughs> I'm not sneezing. I'm all better. Hooray! Mummy, Daddy, I've not got the sneezes anymore. I can go to playgroup. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That's wonderful, Peppa. But today is Saturday. Whoops! <laughs> 8 45. Oh dear, we're late. Late? Late? We can't be late. Come on, everyone, let's go. What bad luck. The car's broken down. Oh no! Not to worry. Let's see if Grandpa Pig can help us with his boat. Grandpa, Grandpa, I need to get to play school, but the car's broken down. Can you help us? My, my. Say no more, Peppa. Jump aboard, everyone. Life vests on and we're on our way. Whee! That's a jolly strong wind. Hold tight, everyone. Whoa. Whoa. Where are we? I can't see playgroup anywhere. Hmm. We've been blown out to sea by a very strong wind. Good thing I've got my compass. What's a compass? It tells you which way is north, east, west and south. So we can use it to find our way back to shore. Hooray! Look, there's a train station. Off the boat, everyone. We'll take the train to playgroup. Thanks, Grandpa Pig. Any time. Good luck, everyone. You, we can still get to playgroup in time. <laughs> Mummy, what are all these clouds? I thought clouds lived in the sky. It's steam, Pepper. The train uses the power of steam to move forwards. Whee! We have now arrived at our one and only stop, the airport. The airport? That's not playgroup. Uh-oh, we must have got on the wrong train. Oh, hello, Peppa. What brings you to the airport? Miss Rabbit, can you help us? We're trying to get to Playgroup, but we keep getting lost. Oh, dear. Well, of course. Hop in the plane and I'll make a special flight. Yay! Seatbelts on and we're ready for takeoff. It looks amazing from up here. The view is quite spectacular from 33,000 feet. Hooray! You're a lifesaver. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Many times. Hooray! We're just in time. Susie? Rebecca? Where are you going? It's the end of the day. We're going home. End of the day? Oh no. We missed the whole day of playgroup. Oh, I'm sorry we're so late. We had a broken down car, a storm. Oh, it was quite the kerfuffle. What did we miss? Not to worry. Not to worry. 
Today we were learning all about vehicles. Vehicles? Oh, you mean like boats sailing through the sea with their compasses and steam-powered trains and planes flying high at 33,000 feet. Wow, Peppa, that's very impressive knowledge. I guess our little adventure was quite educational after all. It was so much fun. Mummy, can we get a hot air balloon back home? <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling clean. Mummy, can we go and paddle in the sea? Hmm, have you got your armbands? Check. Sun cream. <laughs> Check. OK, but don't go out further than the boy. Yay! <laughs> Look, George, a shiny shell. And slimy seaweed. Grrr. And a seaweed monster. <laughs> Slippery, sloppery pebbles. Hmm, we can use these to decorate a sandcastle. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of sandcastle should we make, George? <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> okay, let's make a sand dinosaur. <laughs> it's the Sandosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, don't worry George, we can turn it into something new, like a pig! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not again! Hmm, why don't you build it further inland, far away from the sea? Good idea, Mummy! <laughs> There, there's no way that will get destroyed by the sea. But it might get destroyed by the rain. Quickly, we need to get everything into the camper van. Can we take our sandcastle, Mummy? I'm afraid not, Peppa. But don't worry, I've got a great idea. Now hurry along into the camper van. <laughs> Ta-da! You can make your sand castle indoors. Wow! This is amazing, Mummy. We can make anything with this sand. Anyone want a sand milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do a barbecue indoors. Oh, really? Peppa, you clever little pig. Oh, and you, George. What a scrumptious feast. Bon appétit! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we take the canoe down to the lake? Please, please. What a fun idea. Why don't we all go down for a boat trip? Yay! Yay! I'll join you all later once I've finished making the fire. Oof! I know these woods like the back of my paw. Follow me, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> we should have reached the lake a long time ago. Hmm, maybe I don't know the back of my paw very well. Uh-oh! Are we lost? Where have they got to? Uh, oh. oh no, that's not good. We're lost, we're lost. What are we going to do, Mr. Wolf? Hmm, well, um, we can use the sun. 
The lake is to the east of the campsite. The sun is setting in the west, so it must be that way. There must be something I can do to help find them. Hmm. If I fly that kite high up into the air, they might see it and find their way back to camp. No wind. Ooh, there's some. Oh no, this is no good. This is the same map as before. We're going round in circles. Look, a little ducky. Maybe it's on its way to the lake. Worth a shot, don't you think, Mr. Wolf? I suppose so. Follow me every... Ah, uh, I mean follow the duck. Hmm, maybe if I make some loud noises, they can hear where I am. Oh, uh, Oh, that's a very small lake. Uh, Eek! A wolf! Don't worry, not all wolves are scary. Oh dear, what am I going to do? The fire! Of course! I'll light the fire and send a smoke signal up into the sky! Look everyone! There's smoke in the sky! Daddy must have lit the fire! Hooray! We're saved! Well done, Peppa! Everyone follow that smoke! <laughs> <laughs> You're back! Yippee! We followed your smoke signals, Daddy! That's some fine wilderness thinking there, Daddy Pig! Oh, it was nothing! So, what do you say we finally go on that canoe trip, eh? Um, where is the canoe? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm the Marshmallow Monster. Rawr! <gasps> Careful, Pepper. There might be real Marshmallow Monsters out in the woods tonight. Real Marshmallow Monsters? That's right, Pepper. Are you ready for a spooky story? Yay! Okay, here goes. Every night, the marshmallow monster comes out of its marshmallow cave with a very rumbly tummy. It pokes its big fluffy nose into the air and looks out for the smell of marshmallows cooking on a campfire. And when it finds it, it runs in and steals all of the marshmallows for itself. Eek! <laughs> okay, my turn. My turn. There once was a teeny weeny tiny pig that lived in the forest. It was a very special teeny weeny tiny pig because every time the moon was full, it turned into a giant pig with tennis rackets for ears. Oh no, the giant tennis racketed pig. Whoa! <laughs> okay, everyone, my turn. This is a story that will chill you right to your toes. In the middle of the night, if you listen very carefully, you can hear all sorts of noises in the woods. Creepy crawlies, hooting owls, and the loudest creature of them all, the Abominable Snowman! <gasps> abominable Snowman? Oh, ho, ho. gotcha! Okay, okay, over to you, George. Wait, where is George? And where is Mummy Pig? George! George! Where are you? Where are you? George, come out, George! Come out, George! <coughs> Now's not the time for sound effects, Daddy! That's not a sound effect! <coughs> oh my! A monster! 
ました。Just George. <laughs> well done, George. I think that was the scariest one of all. <laughs> Indeed. Now, what say we make some more choco mallow berry skewers? Good idea, Daddy. Oh.、Uh... <gasps> Where have all the marshmallows gone? <gasps> the, the marshmallow, marshmallow monster. monster! Then the T Rex came, scaring everyone. Rar! <laughs> yeah, dinosaur. Rar! Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy. Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels. <laughs> That's right. It's called a motorhome, and we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure. Yeah! yeah! This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motor home. Follow me. This is your bedroom. Okay, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Peppa. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed, so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> It is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> Wee! Woo! Wee! <laughs> Daddy, can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he. Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> okay, George. How about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur, grrr! I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like well, they look like me. You're right, Peppa. A group of stars that make a shape. Is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes. So you set it up as so, <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly daddy. It's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, 
What do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? <laughs> what was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. <laughs> To wear all this sun cream, Mummy. <coughs> yes, Pepper. The sun is shining very brightly today. Right. Who's ready to go to the bit? Have you put on your cream, Daddy Pig? Um. <coughs> well, now I have. It's time for our adventure at the beach. Welcome to your very own castle, Prince George and Princess Pepper. Wow! <laughs> wow! Don't worry, George. Sandcastles aren't supposed to last forever. Let's make our own! This smells yummy, Mummy Pig. Thank you. It's so hot today, it feels like we've all been on the barbecue too, Daddy Pig. Oh, don't worry. I have just the thing to help cool us down. Fancy's cooling down in the paddling pool. Me! <laughs> this is so yummy! Ho oh, ho! It certainly is hot! <gasps> Daddy Pig, look at you! You're bright red! Why do crabs bury themselves under the sand? I imagine it's to keep out of the hot sun, Pepper. Mm. Ah! That's it! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, be careful! Oh my, it is rather cool down here. There you go, Daddy. That will keep you cool until we go home. <laughs> Good work, Pepper and George. I'm very proud of you. What an adventure today has been. Oh, I'm stuck. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs. Yes, Peppa. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right. Peppa, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
this sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh, ho! thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. <laughs> Whoa. Amazing work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr. Pig? Ho, ho. We should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. Oh no, the guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> Peppa, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Peppa? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me! Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, -ho! you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen! Well, Pepper, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome isn't a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time.
Phew! This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> that sounded like Pepper. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Pepper's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. <laughs> They're not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know. Maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you. OK, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect. Now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, three, four. That's right. One for you, one for Pepper, one for me and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious! Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious! Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. <laughs> Look, Daddy! We made cookies! One for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! No, George! <gasps> oh dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> 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 Hello Susie. Hello Gerald. Hello Rebecca. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play a game of hide and seek? Yay! Okay, everybody hide and Mummy Pig and I will come and find you. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ready or not, here we come. We've got five little ones to find, so we'd better get started. <laughs> Where did that noise come from? There it is again. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> you're a bit too tall to hide in there. Oops. <laughs> Five minus one is four. Four little ones to find. <laughs> I think I see Rebecca. <laughs> oh, silly me. It's just a picture. <laughs> Did I just hear a little giggle? <laughs> yes, I definitely heard a little giggle. <laughs> there you are, Rebecca. That's two down and three to go. Whee! <laughs> I wonder if someone's in the motorhome. 
Hmm, where could those noises be coming from? Oh, no one in here. Are they in the bedroom? Oh. Nope, not there either. How about the bathroom? Nothing. Where could that squeaking noise be coming from? Ho oh. ho! <laughs> George, I found you! <laughs> That's three down and two to go. Did I just see someone go down the pole? Susie Sheep, there you are. Found me. <laughs> There's five little ones. We found four of them, so that just leaves one. Peppa. Yippee. Where could she be? Keep an eye out for clues, Detective Pig. Oh. Look. Muddy footprints. I know someone who loves splashing around in muddy puddles. Come on, team. Let's all follow the footprints and see if we can find Pepper together. <laughs> we see you, Peppa. <laughs> found me. We found them all. And what better way to celebrate than jumping in a great big muddy puddle? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Somebody's at the door! It must be the postman! The postman? The postman! Maybe it's a parcel full of surprises. <laughs> it is a parcel. Oh, <laughs> what a big parcel. Can you see who it's for? Dear Pepper and George, from Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh, can we open it, Daddy? Of course you can. <laughs> it's a box of paints and paintbrushes. Wow! Imagine what we could paint with this. Mmm, <laughs> cheddar, my favourite. Well, while you three have fun with your new paint kit, I'm going to go and water the petunias. Um de dum de dum dum. I'm so excited to. Wait a second. Where did the paints go? <laughs> My parcel arrived. Hello, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? You seem worried. Oh. Oh, dear. The house is covered in paint. Don't panic. I'm sure the paint will wash off. Hooray! Hooray! We need some soapy water, some sponges, and we need to get this paint off before Mummy and Daddy Pig see it. Here we are. Super soapy water and super spongy sponges. There's just one more thing. We need some clean-up music. It's my favourite song! <laughs> Silly Grandpa, let's get cleaning!
seen the house so clean. You can hardly tell it was covered head to toe in paint. In what? Nothing. Oh, I'm sleepy. Me too. I think it's time for a good night's sleep. Come on, Mandy. I'll take you home. Bye-bye, oh, Mandy. Bye-bye, Peppa. I'll put the little ones to bed. Good night, Peppa. Good night, Grandpa. Thanks for the surprise parcel. Oh, that reminds me. I've got one last surprise for you. If you count these sheep, You'll fall straight to sleep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Mademoiselle. Today is a very special day because we're going to be learning all about dinosaurs. Yay! My brother George loves dinosaurs. Who here can tell me something about dinosaurs? They've got big, stompy feet. Very good, Peppa. Anyone else? They have big, swooshy tails. Yes, Daddy. The Diplodocus has a tail that's 15 meters long. I love the Dimbledogus. Ooh, they have really loud roars. Roar! And great big teeth for munching. Well, I'm very impressed. You all clearly know a lot about dinosaurs, which is a good thing, as today you're going to be making your very own dinosaur model. Hooray! You can all use the crafting supplies from the cupboard. Let's get to work! Ooh. I'm going to make the big, stompy feet! Dinosaurs like muddy puddles too! <laughs> this can be the body! A spotty body! These can be the claws. Roar! Watch out for the swishy, swashy tail. It needs big eyes so it can see all its dinosaur friends and big teeth so it can smile at them. Done! Wow! It's not like any dinosaur I've ever heard of. It's much, much better. I'm awarding this dinosaur first prize. Yay! You know what that means. Home time. Mummy, Daddy, can I show George the dinosaur we made? Of course you can. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George, I hear you're quite the dinosaur expert. What do you think of our model? It's a silly billy saurus. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea, George. We can make it a moving dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> 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 